All right, y'all, so today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make a triple berry pie. For this, we do have some frozen berry blends. It's got raspberry, blueberry, and blackberries. You can use fresh if you want. It's just the wrong time of year for me to get good fresh berries, so I'm going with frozen. We have some sugar, some cornstarch, an egg, and a little bit of lime juice. And because we're gonna be focusing on making the pie filling, I'm gonna go ahead and use a pre-made pie crust if you want to, if you have a pie crust recipe that you like, go ahead and use that instead. But let's start making our filling. Alright y'all, so to start our pie filling, we're going to take two cups of our frozen berry mix. And we're going to take three quarters of a cup of our sugar. And we're just going to start this on a medium to medium high heat. In a saucepan. Then we're also going to take a tablespoon of water because we are using frozen berries here. We don't want that sugar to burn before they start thawing out. And we're just going to stir this constantly. Until we start getting a really syrupy consistency. So once I start getting the syrup, I'll bring you back. Alright y'all, so we have our berry mixture simmering. We really want these berries to mix to uh, break down. And they pretty well have broke down here. So now we have taken three tablespoons of cornstarch and dissolved that in three tablespoons of cold water. Now you always want to dissolve your cornstarch in cold water so it doesn't clump. But we're going to go ahead and pour our cornstarch right into this. We're going to mix that around and this, uh, this cornstarch will allow our filling to start thickening. Now we want to make sure that cornstarch gets very well mixed in. And now we're going to bring that back up to a boil. Now it's back up to a boil and it's really starting to thicken up. So we're going to take three more cups of our frozen berries and get them all in there. Now we want to stir constantly until our berries start to thaw out and make more of a liquid. We're also going to take and add in one teaspoon of our lime juice. And get that very mixed in. And now all we're going to do, our berries are thawed out, we're just going to go ahead and turn the burner off, remove this from the burner, and move on to making our pie. Alright y'all, so we have taken our pie crust and put it in a pie plate. We also set that pie plate on a cookie sheet to help it in case it boils over. Now we've also gone ahead and preheated our oven to 400 degrees. But now all we're going to do is take our pie filling now we're just gonna now we got all our pie filling in there we're just gonna go ahead make sure that's dispersed evenly in our pie now we're gonna push this back to the side now I'm using a pre pre-made pie crust and you get two crust in each box. Now if you're using your own, that's all right. This step is still good. We've went ahead, rolled out that second crust. 
And now we're just gonna cut it into about one inch thick strips. Once we have our strips cut, we're gonna bring our pie back into view. And now we're just gonna sit our strips on our pie, leaving about an equal amount of gap. Now you could weave it, I'm just not going to. Now I used a paring knife to cut my pie strips. So I'm just gonna go around on the edge with that paring knife. and trim all these strips to be equal with the pie crust itself. Now we're gonna take our one egg, give it a good whisking. Now we're just gonna take our egg, take a brush, and we're gonna paint this crust with our egg. And this is how we're gonna get that gold and brown. Look. And our last step before this goes in the oven is we're just gonna take a little bit of sugar. And spread that on our our little braided brands here. And now all we're gonna do, we got our oven preheated to 400 degrees. Let's go ahead, throw this in our oven for 20 minutes and I'll bring you back at that point. All right y'all, it's been 20 minutes. We've gone ahead and removed it from the oven. We've turned our oven down to 350 degrees. Now all we're gonna do is we're gonna take a piece of our tin foil. And cover this thing up. And it doesn't have to be tightly covered. We just wanna cover it up a, as, to a point that way the top doesn't brown too quickly before the pie is done. So now that we have this covered up, we're gonna throw this back in the oven for another 30 minutes at 350 degrees. At that point, we'll bring you back. All right, y'all, it's been in our oven for 30 minutes. Now we're just gonna uncover that and go woo -wee. Now all we gotta do, our pie is done. We're gonna go ahead, let this sit and cool for, you know, three, four, five hours. We're gonna let this cool until it is completely cold and we're gonna cool it at room temperature. And then it's good to serve. But if you like this video, go ahead, hit that like and subscribe button. There's a video over here that YouTube thinks you should be watching. And until next time, keep on cooking on.